Assalamualaikum and good day. My name is Azinawawi from UTHM, and today we will make a, a, 3, a 3 model. Uh, actually, this is an exercise. Okay, if you want to try, we're gonna make this 3D model in on shape. Okay, so let's go. Okay, so the model that we're gonna make is this. Okay, and this is for exercise from my SolidWorks notes. Okay, thank you to my lecturers, Dr. Azui, J. Azui and Dr. Sia. Okay, so this is the model. You're gonna, we're gonna have something like a bracket here. Yeah. Okay, something like a bracket. And it has a couple of holes, okay, mm, two holes, and uh, there's trapezium, trapezium like shape. The base is trapezium like shape, and it is. Uh, these are the the measurement the dimension, okay. You can see this part, okay. So let's do it, okay. So okay, before we start, we need to know uh, how we're gonna start with the with the drawing, okay. So so from the drawing, the best way to start is to do the base first. Okay, the base first. Okay, so the base we're gonna draw the, the we're gonna draw the the two D um, the sketch for the base. Uh, this sketch actually. Okay, this sketch, and then we're gonna draw on the front, front plane. Okay, so let's do it. Okay, so where's the own shape? Uh, okay, okay, no, I'm gonna make a new one. Okay, so we're gonna make a new model. Okay, so sorry, top plane. Okay, we're gonna make. Okay, first we will draw this this sketch on the top plane. And to follow this this type of, of of view, okay. So we go here. Sorry, we go here. Okay, choose top plane, okay, and then go up here to sketch, okay, mm -hmm. sketch icon, and then when the plane, okay, when you have when you have when this kind of of interface appear, so you need to go to you need to right click on any any part of the of the screen, okay, of the area and then you can kind of choose view normal to sketch plane okay you can get something like this and then we can draw a trapezium here okay so the first thing to do is no need to worry about the dimension just just make a trapezium shape okay like this okay so pick a line pick a line features okay and start from here make the trapezium shape oh before that before that um because um some some okay we, we need we need to set the units set the units for our for our drawings so to do that we need to, to go up here to the document menu okay with the three lines okay and then we need to go to workspace units for us to set the units whether it is matrix or or british uh, okay and then okay set the unit that you want okay first we're gonna use uh, millimeter okay for the length and then for the the mass we're gonna use kilogram okay kilogram okay set the units okay so when the unit is set okay go back to sketch one and go sketch okay okay and then we will draw the okay no worries okay we will draw the the trapezium okay sketch sketch a plane okay wait select a sketch plane okay this is a sketch okay and then we in the sketch mode and go here we first we need to draw the trapezium shape okay so in your sketch, just go to the line features, okay, line, click on that one and just make the trapezium shape, okay, like that, and go to the direction, make it, make sure that the line is straight. You're gonna get something like this. You're gonna get a, a symbol like this, meaning that the line is is straight. It is ninety degree from the previous line, okay, like that, and go back here. Okay, I'm get bigger to help you. Okay, go back here. And then go back to the starting point. So this is the trapezium. Okay, next is the dimension. So go back here. The dimension is uh, 35, 150, and 75. Okay, 35, 150. So okay, go to dimension features here. Okay, and this one is 150, 150. Enter. And this side is 75, 75. And this side is 35 35 okay voila nice okay and then you can see that we have we're gonna have a uh, okay we're gonna use fillets okay to do the the, the edge, edge part okay uh, okay we're gonna use fillet so this one is fillet with r20 radius 20 and this one the fillet is r25 okay so go back to your drawing and choose fillet fillet with a sketch fillet okay just and put it here one and okay the you can see that the default radius is 12 so just go back it is 
20 and 25 okay so double click on the on the uh, the dimension value and then type 20 meaning 20 voila nice okay and do for this part click and click on 20 change to to 5 25 huh, nice okay and you can see that the sketch is in black color meaning that everything is nice and good okay everything good okay so next is the hole here because it is said that the hole is uh, two hole um, with 20 mm diameter and it is through, through all meaning it will go directly through the part through all and both hole are 20 20 mm so just go right here back to on shape and just take um, the circle Girl, and put it here okay i just put anywhere uh, here and put another one here okay and then the skull is not not really in the place so okay okay so no more circle click here or escape uh, put it down here out here drag it out to make our easier okay so you can see that the circle is not in place so first we need to do relation to the circle and this arc okay so what gonna do is um choose this arc uh, turn it into orange and choose this circle okay and you need to go up here to the relation this one this part okay because remember the relation okay click and then you're gonna choose concentric okay choose concentric meaning that you want the arc and the circle to have the same point okay concentric voila okay you can see that it is in the same point okay do the same for for the, the other one okay uh, click this one turn to orange and click the arc and then go up here to to the to the relation and then choose concentrate okay okay it's concentrate okay nice and then okay um what is the dimension the main dimension is 20 okay so go back here to the drawing and go to the dimension feature click on that one and click drag it out and this one change to to zero okay and it is said that both have the same dimension so use the relation again okay click this one make it turn into orange okay uh, first you need to deactivate the dimension click escape okay okay uh, okay and then go to the to the first circle and then go to the second circle I'll make sure the both are orange and go up here to the relation feature okay and then you set as choose equal okay see both have the equal dimension nice okay so next we will need to extrude the, the sketch okay and uh, the dimension the, the thickness is 20 mm okay so just go back here and then just go directly to extrude icon up here okay click on that one okay and play with your mouse okay look okay it is okay almost there and you you're gonna have something like this okay and okay this one is true for sketch okay the type of blind is good so the depth instead of 25 you need to change to 20 so click on the this part and type 20 and then click enter okay so this is the this is the the part that we want this is how it looks like okay so if you are good then you just click on the green arrow here okay ini so this part is finished so you are halfway there okay so the next part is the this part <coughs> okay the vertical part and to do that you need to sketch first make a sketch okay make this sketch um, still trapezium type and put fillet at the edge okay and then do the extrude and first we need to identify the plane where we want to sketch this sketch okay so go back to your drawing so the best plane is here you need to rotate a bit so this one is the best plane for you to do the sketch so just click on that one turn into orange and then go to sketch feature here okay click and you're gonna get something like this okay meaning that the sketch mode is on and then right click on the on the area and then use choose uh, sorry choose view normal to sketch plane uh, okay ready so then you need to draw this kind of trapezium okay so go back to your drawing and take a line 
Okay, and draw the trapezium. Follow me, okay. Okay, make it bigger. Wait, okay. Start from here. One. Go a little bit higher. Two. Three. And then straight way down and make sure that it is straight. Okay, and the line turn to orange. Okay. It is straight. You have it is a straight symbol and the line turn to orange. Mean that, the, mean that you, you touch the line. Okay. Like that. And then go back to the starting point. Voila. Okay. Sketch. Okay, and then we're gonna proceed with the dimension. So 80, uh, 160. So go back to the drawing. So, okay, just go to the dimension. Okay, so click dimension so that this part is 100. Okay, 100. And then 80 and then 60. Okay, and then this part is x0. Okay, and this part is 60, wait, this part is 60, 60, 60, 60, okay, so finish. Okay, so before you proceed, okay, don't forget to do the, the fillet. Okay, fillet. So this part, the fillet is R25, and this part, the fillet is R12. Okay, so go back to the drawing, okay. Sorry, go back to the drawing. Wait, what's the drawing? Go back to the drawing. So take the fillet icon. Okay, fillet, sketch fillet. Okay. So this one is 25. Right, 25 and 12. This one is 25. Okay, nice. And then this one, not 25. Wait, this one is 25. Sorry, one more time, one more time. Okay, this one, fillet, this one is 25. Correct. Okay, 25, enter. And this one is not 25, but, but it is 12. 1, 2. Okay, nice. Nicely done. Okay. So now you have the, the fillet is done. Drag it out. Okay. So what's next? The last one is the hole here. The hole here. Okay. The hole here. So the features for okay, the, it is said that the hole is 18 in diameter and through all. Okay, 18 in diameter through all. So go back to the drawings. Okay. So get a circle. Okay, in the circle feature. Okay. Just put it over here. Uh, you can put direct, directly over here. Uh, I think just put directly over here. Okay. Over here and make a circle and voila, one circle and go to dimension. Okay. Go to dimension and then change to one. 8 meaning 18 okay like that okay so the next step is to extrude so how much okay, extrude with thickness 20 uh, okay so go back to your drawing and then click here up here extrude okay and then the thickness see it it go to the to that way so you need to change the the direction change direction is here click on here to change direction okay here okay nice and you can see that the thickness is 25 here but change to 20 to 0 enter okay make sure you do this setting okay and then things look good looks good thing looks good so click okay so voila so that is your drawing okay that is your drawing like this whether to okay to check whether your drawing is in the in the correct orientation or, or not okay just go here to the one small box over here okay and try click isometric meaning that we want to check our drawing whether it is in the correct orientation or not okay eh? okay so if you compare to the original drawing yeah it is in the same orientation so yeah so that's all how to do it so okay okay you can okay actually you can download okay i already put the, the this drawing in the description section of my youtube video okay so you can download it over there okay so that's all from now thank you very much bye bye